Hello, Rich Merritt here with Digital Combustion, and today's tutorial is going to be on our Digital Combustion member site, and specifically how to get free content off of our site and onto your computer in your copy of Fire Studio. So that's what we're going to go over today. We've been adding a lot of new smoke and fire and different layers that you can use, and some of our members have been calling us and asking us, well, how do I get it in there? So we're going to go ahead and put this video out there so now you'll know and you'll be able to follow the directions on this and, and get all that content from our website onto your computer. What you're looking at on the screen here is our Digital Combustion member site. When you first log in, and if you haven't been to the member site or don't have an account, you can shoot us an email to support at digitalcombustion.com and request access to the member site. We'll send you a link that will allow you to create your own account. And once you do that, you'll log in and this is what you'll see. So when you first log in, you're going to come to this tutorial page and it's got a few different tutorials kind of on the basics of uh, getting used to using Fire Studio, how to you use your customer portal and some of the features of Fire Studio. So it's a good starting point if you haven't watched those and you uh, want to get a little bit uh, more in depth with Fire Studio. But today we're really going to mainly focus on this free content area and we're going to go to the free layer downloads. And so when you get to that screen, you can see we've got uh, quite a few new layers for you to uh, use in your simulations. And you can download one of them or all of them or just the ones you need. So it's kind of up to you. There's a little description of each one and it'll tell you what it is that you'd be downloading. I'm going to go ahead and download this now and show you how to uh, get it onto Fire Studio. Just a little bit of... Uh, Disclosure here, I am recording this on a Mac. It's just a little easier to get these tutorial videos done. So when you look at it um, in the Windows world, it might look a little different, but it's basically the same concept. You download a zipped file. You're going to unzip it and put it into uh, Fire Studio. So if you don't know how to unzip a, a zipped or compressed file in Windows, uh, you just need to go onto YouTube, and there's, there's literally thousands that will uh, tell you how to do it. If you're using Windows 10, just type in Windows 10 zip files and, and you'll get a, a whole host of uh, different videos that'll explain how to do that. For now I'm going to take this first free layer. It says dark turbulent smoke and it's a really nice new smoke that we just put up there and I think you'll find it really useful in your simulation. So I'm going to click the download now button. What that does I'm using Google Chrome and it puts it down here in my menu bar at the bottom. So I bring it back and I've actually uh, it comes into here. So you can see I've got uh, smoke dark turb dot zip and that's that's the little abbreviation and once it's extracted it actually makes the sm dark turb dot dca and so the dca is the file that we want that's our digital combustion animation file so that's what that is and i always download my everything that i have into my download folder so i always know where it is so that's the other key is when you're downloading anything off the internet and it's going onto your computer, you really need to know where it's going. And then once you extract that file, you need to know for sure where it was extracted to. So those are a couple of uh, skills that you're going to need to be able to pull this off. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up Fire Studio and let's get this uh, layer into Fire Studio. Now I'm in the library list right here where we have all of our default libraries that come with Fire Studio. And you can see here we've got, uh, you know, our smoke, our fire, hazmat, all these things. And these buttons to the right of this list are grayed out because we can't add or take anything away from these default libraries because they are locked. And they're locked for a reason, just so we don't accidentally delete things and uh, that came with the program. But we do give you the ability using this create button here to create your own library and that's what we're going to do because we need our own library a custom library to be able to add our own layers to it so let's go ahead and, and click create and what what it's going to do it's going to want to create a new library and you need to know where that library is so right now i'm in my fire studio 6 data folder and i even can go one further i've got a sims and libs which means sims and library folder and you could create one that says smoke library or whatever you want to do but we're going to go ahead and just save it right in this in this data file for this tutorial and i'm just going to call it new smoke 2. So now you can see what happens is once I create that new library it goes to the very bottom of the list and i've got a library here called new smoke two and there's nothing in it so on those libraries here I can load a background a layer or a sound 
background self-explanatory if you're going to put a you know some of your custom jpegs that's where you, that's how you put them in here uh, a layer is a dca file which is what we are going to do and then a sound of course is a wav file that you want if you were loading a sound in so we're going to go ahead and load that layer that we just downloaded so i'm going to click on my load layer button and that's going to bring up um, my download folder and if it doesn't automatically you can navigate to where it was and there i can see there's my smoke my dark turbulent smoke dca i'm going to select that click select and there you can see it's added it directly to my new smoke 2 library so when i click there you can see the the animation going and so there it is and that's all there is to it so you would just repeat that process anytime you wanted to add something new to that library now you could make specific libraries that were all backgrounds, all layers, all sounds. You can do it that way. You can mix and match. So you can put backgrounds, layers, sounds all in one library. So you can do it any way you want. But the big thing is, is to maybe think about what you're naming it and then also think about uh, you know what you want in that so that you can keep track of it and you don't lose it. I think that gives you a, a good idea of how to get this going and get those layers from our website into your computer onto Fire Studio 6. With that, we're going to end this tutorial. I'm Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion, and we'll see you on the next tutorial.